Hello and welcome to Bilingual Analytics. My name is Roland and in this video series I would like to walk you through three really powerful data transformation tools in Power Query. In the final fourth episode of this series I will show you an example where we can combine all of these functions to transform an ugly duckling to a beautiful swan. But first of all please drop a like to this video and hit the subscribe button. Clicking on the bell icon will bring you good luck. As we are going to talk about Power Query, you can use these methods in Power BI and in Excel as well. But what are these operations? We are going to cover transpose, pivot columns and unpivot columns. It doesn't matter which video you are going to start with. I'll add the links to all videos to the end of each one and to the description below. Make sure to watch all of them to know when to use which one. So in today's session, we are going to talk about transpose. And just a friendly reminder, as this topic is a bit more technical, do not expect fancy report designs. With that out of the way, let's jump into this. The transpose option allows us to rotate our tables by 90 degrees which means that our rows are going to be our columns and our columns will turn into rows. No, not quite like that. Let me walk you through an example as it will be a bit easier to understand what's going on here. Imagine that we receive a table like this from someone. I believe many ERP systems were set up this way to export data, so don't get too personal about this. We are going to explore ways to make this data structure more useful for our analysis in Power BI or in Excel. Again, as we are talking about Power Query, you can utilize this operation in both of them. If we just load this data to our model in Power BI, we won't be able to do any analysis because it's not in the format that Power BI can easily understand. Sales and quantity cannot be summarized. Which means that we have to apply some magic here. What do we want our data structure to look like? Ideally, we want to achieve something like this. To start with, head over to the transform page on the ribbon and find the transpose button. Once we click on it, you can see that we have done 90% of the task. As a final step, we just need to use first rows as a headers that we can do either from the home page or just by clicking on the top left corner of our query and select that option. As a final step, we just need to click on close and apply and create some visual elements to see if we can use this data. After the transformation, we can easily summarize sales or quantity, and if we want to, we can slice and dice our data based on product. This looks great! Now please remember that in most real-life use cases you will probably end up utilizing a combination of the three data transformation techniques to achieve a data structure that you can easily use and analyze. Thanks for joining me today. Hopefully with this demo you will be able to improve your data transformation skills. Make sure to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss a new episode. Until then, see ya!